Hi, I'm Jan Barker, Chief Executive Officer of Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan. And I'm Kate Lefevre, Board Chair of Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan. Kate and I are so pleased to have you with us to spend a little time hearing about what it is to be a Girl Scout and how Girl Scouts benefits the entire community. Jan, I'll hand it off to you and let's meet some of the people who will tell us the Girl Scout story, starting with a girl's eye view. We're with Michaela Flores, and she is a first-year Brownie, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what it's like to go to a Brownie meeting. What do you do first? Well, we do the law and the promise, and we hold our three fingers up, our pointer finger, our middle finger, and our ring finger, and we stick them together. If you can't stick them together, then you can wide them apart. So my favorite Girl Scout meeting, when I was reducing the new Girl Scouts into our Girl Scout meeting. We made little rockets and we put straws in them to blow them. That was amazing. Mine went way over the sidewalk and over a kid. Then we do our Girl Scout goodbye. We hold our hands out straight, arms out straight. We take our right one and cross it over our left one. Then we hold hands and sing a Girl Scout song normally, make new friends. Then we take our right hand over our head and face backs to each other. Then we let go and say goodbye. I really like it because the money that I sell goes to our fun stuff like camping and other stuff like Michigan Adventures or Sky Zone for all of us and I like helping the other Girl Scouts. That's why I make my goals higher and I double them. When I'm tired, I try to stand up and like, I talk to myself and convince myself I'm not tired, I'm a Girl Scout. Girl Scouts work hard until they're done at a cookie booth. And also, um, I like, come on, you gotta get more because these are actually super good and these are actually super good and you just can't handle how I say it. I take about two days to decide and then I decide what I want and then I set that goal. Uh-huh. I set a thousand, I went to a thousand and above. And then I set 2000, 2018, and I went above to 2,231. I bet you're a bit like me and can see Michaela is developing positive values, healthy relationships, and building a powerful connection to improve her community, locally and as a member of a global Girl Scout community. Girl Scouting helps girls find a place, but it also helps them find themselves. My name is Heather Coe, and I was a Girl Scout growing up, and I do remember being very excited for any activities, um, anything that we were going to do after school. I was very excited to think that it was the afternoon that Girl Scouts, Girl Scouts were coming to my elementary and looking forward to camp and basically anything that was going to keep me occupied and busy. Being a Girl Scout as as a young person, I definitely wanted that for my daughter as well, and she was a brownie um, growing up and then, of course, got busy in other activities. But I can say and speak for both of us that that was an important part of our development, Um, just kind of finding out who you are, what things that you like, what things that you don't like, uh, because I don't think you really know that until you try things and experience things and Brownies and Girl Scouts definitely gave you that that chance. So I would say it's definitely helped for confidence for both my daughter and myself as grown adults. I think that there's so many distractions that can kind of lead us off track. I think Girl Scouts, Brownies, whichever it may be, um, to kind of get you started in the right direction, knowing that you're putting the thought in the child's head that, wow, I could be a better person. I didn't really know what that meant, but I want to be a better person. I'm, I'm being challenged morally, and I think that's so important because I think that there's a lot of children that don't have anybody that's supporting them and guiding them. So I think that the, the Girl Scouts is definitely beneficial in, in that way. What do you know about the bold benefits of Girl Scouting? 
Girls who experience single sex learning environments like Girl Scouting report a more positive self-concept, they feel more in control of their lives, and are much more likely to become community problem solvers. I'm Elizabeth Woodman. I'm Samantha Richardson. Uh, the thing about Mackinac is it's like just an amazing experience. Like when you go to the island, you meet like a ton of new friends and you learn how to march and like doing the flags is an amazing experience. There's a girl trumpeteer who actually like plays the trumpet on the island and that's just amazing. And like you learn lots of like life skills like when you do barracks you learn how to cook things sometimes or like how to like cut things and like how to clean bathrooms and like cleaning the floors and you just learn lots of mandatory life skills. I agree with that. I think that some of the special parts is that you get to go to the island and most people don't get the opportunity, especially not to say that long, and you get to kind of have like a second family, I guess, with a lot of other people. As Samantha said, you get to learn a lot of life skills, not necessarily cleaning the bathroom. That's very important. (laughs) But you get to learn a lot of stuff. You get to, and it's not all work. Like you get to do a lot of I like, they give us evening activities every night where we do different things, and the theme for the program, they have a new theme every year, and the activities, and like the PAL patrol activities leader's job is kind of based around that, and you just kind of, ours this year was Clue, and it was kind of like a mystery themed, I guess, and we did like a murder mystery dinner, we did a masquerade, Mm -hmm. we did a scavenger hunt. At one point, we made bookmarks by like... They got a ton of old copies of Mystery on Mackinac Island and we were able to like cut out parts of the books and like glue them onto the bookmarks and we got them laminated. They have a lot of activities on the back porch as Samantha was saying about crafts. So I think that that's the most exciting part about Mackinac. Not not just the crafts, like, but the, the fun. One of my favorite like fun things to do on the island was I liked to go downtown with all of your friends. And I like going downtown, like, maybe getting a cone of ice cream or, like, getting some souvenirs and then, like, exploring the island. You go to trainings once a month and you learn things like marching and flags and guide duty trivia. So there are two co-directors, Mrs. Ashley and Mrs. Jeffrey, and then there's a lot of other adults that help. Well, the first time, it was really nerve-wracking, and at the beginning, I didn't know anyone because no one else from Ann Arbor was going, so I didn't really know anyone, and I, truth be told, did not have a lot of friends my first year, but I learned a lot of the stuff, and it was, like, the island was, like, long-awaited, but it was really fun and, like, a really different experience. At first, when I was, like, at the very beginning, I was really scared, and I was worried that they would, like, reject me, but they didn't. And they weren't actually that scary once I realized it. I was just a little bit nervous. And at first I didn't have too many friends though, but eventually I made new friends and they're probably the best friends I'll ever have. You can find out more about Mackinac Honor Guard at gshom.org. That's gshom.org. Girls who participate feel so proud of themselves and gain confidence, self-reliance, and independence while really adding to their community. It's a tradition that gives girls positive outcomes. There are two types of people in the world, those who know the extensive benefits of Girl Scouting and those who have not experienced it yet. Our volunteers are the lifeblood of our organization and prime examples of those folks that really understand the benefits of Girl Scouting. And while many are parents and may have been Girl Scouts themselves, Any adult with the time to give and the passion for assisting girls can change lives through volunteering. In a supportive Girl Scout environment, girls are willing to take reasonable risks and try new things. And that's always a good thing. I've got something in my pocket that belongs across my face. I keep it very close at hand in a most convenient place. I'm sure you wouldn't guess it if you guessed a long, long while. So take it out. I'm Jan Whitcomb. Currently, I'm a facilitator and I specialize in age level training. 
Um, my favorites are um, daisies and brownies, and I also specialize in bullying and relational aggression issues. A facilitator is my f favorite term for us is we're a trainer, and we go in and we teach the adults um, about working with the girls, troop meetings, what they can do, and how they can handle issues and go on to do fabulous things like take trips um, out of the state of Michigan and out of the country if they so wish, or also if they want to earn their bronze, silver, or gold awards. I've been a facilitator um, for, I believe, about 12 years now. Prior to that, I was a troop leader in Portage, and I was involved with four different troops. We take trip into Chicago and staying at a hostel with cadets. And their big thing was they wanted to go shopping in downtown Chicago. So we hit Old Navy, Amber Combrie and Fitch stores on the Miracle Mile, plus going up into the, what was called the Sears Tower and walking out in the fresh air, which I could have passed on, but they wanted to do it, so that's what we did. It was girl blood. I believe it or not, I actually am a shy person. My family will tell you that I am. Um, and Girl Scouting has helped me grow in, as an adult and become stronger and be able to speak to people and in public and learn to advocate for myself and others. I was a Girl Scout in Portage and it, was a, it made a big difference in my life when I was in school. So when my life changed um, after my father passed away, I was able to start volunteering again and give back to Girl Scouting what they've given to me, and I don't think I'll ever be able to repay what Girl Scouting has meant to my life. One of the things that I, I do as a routine in my age level training is I, I talk to the, the leaders about how to involve their parents to help them and support them because a, a good troop, it's not only the co-leaders, it's the parents that are volunteering to help behind the scenes, and including family or people in the office because there's so many times that um, I hear later where they'd never thought to ask the person like two or three cubicles down that they knew could do it, that had the time, and now they're a wonderful volunteer. It's, it's more than just parents, it's aunts and uncles, grandparents, cousins, godparents, and the whole community basically. Anyone you can think of that you think would be a good volunteer, they'll be the, one of the best volunteers you've ever had. Just imagine if people knew the tangible benefits of Girl Scouting, like positive values, hands-on learning, learn by doing. The inclusive, all-girl environment of a Girl Scout troop creates a safe place for girls where they can try new things and develop a range of skills, take on leadership roles, and just be themselves, something every single one of us needs from time to time. I am Miranda Goodison. I have been a Girl Scout going on 11 years now. Started when I was five years old as a daisy, and I have loved it ever since. I began being a Juliet after middle school. It's been amazing. I love, I love being independent and being able to work on projects myself. I've um, completed my bronze and silver awards um, all by myself with things that I love to do. Um, and I'm currently working on my gold award right now. So again, kind of leading my own path and figuring out what I want to do and how I want to help other people. My bronze award was helping the um, local Kalamazoo Humane Society all the way back in fifth grade. So again, this all started way back when. So yeah, we, this is when I was part of my troop. So we put together dog beds for out of recycled materials and um, we actually, to get the funding for it, um, ran a peanut butter drive at school to get money and funds to make these dog beds and dog treats, dog toys, etc. So my silver award was completely on me. Um, I fundraised by running a um, book donation at my old preschool, um, Learning Village, and I used those funds from selling the books to purchase and make a free little library in the front of my preschool. Well, it's been a long ride already, and I'm not even near being done yet, but it's been wonderful. So right now, um, I'm kind of stemifying the Comstock STEM Academy, so science, technology, engineering, and math, um, putting in kind of decor that relates to the STEM fields um, so that the students there can kind of um, do what I did and find their careers in STEM. So I've been working on that, creating timelines, installing, um, 
different decor, to, so to speak. Um, not really decorations, but something more permanent, long lasting. So I started here when I was very young, again, five years old, um, looking up to the older girls who are already PAs, program aides, and the counselors here. Um, and then kind of just seeing myself grow up in the Girl Scout Center and being able to look up to those roles and eventually filling those roles as a PA and also doing overnight camps at Camp Marywood and um, being able to look up to those counselors as well at camp and building those bonds with other girls too. It's been very interesting, yes. Yeah. I was going to the science-based summer camp back when they only had four to eight camps all summer long and um, yeah, our, we always take one field trip per week. So this field trip was going to the um, College of Aviation in Battle Creek. So that's kind of where it all began. It was during the summer camp. So I was actually a PA at the time. So again, a program aide um, going to the College of Aviation, kind of showing the girls around, um, that sort of thing. And I remember sitting down at um, one of the classrooms at the College of Aviation, just kind of nonchalantly having lunch and kind of just hanging out. And I remember one of our tour guides came up to us and said, do you want, does anybody interested in being a pilot or going into the field of aviation? And it just kind of clicked for me. I'm like, yeah, I, I think this would be a really cool career. So, um, so it goes. He gave me a bunch of information about the school and about what um, opportunities they offer at the school. So he gave me a bunch of information and he took me and a few other girls up to the air traffic control tower, kind of toured us around independently and it, that's where it all began. It felt like a little spark, a little spark in my heart, so to speak. I am really excited to see Miranda realize her dreams with Girl Scouting. Getting the confidence to explore and feel empowered serves young women again and again in their lives leading them to their own successes. I'd encourage people to look at gshom.org. That's abbreviations for, of course, the wonderful and vivacious Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan.org. Just use the initials. To see more about Girl Scouting and how you can get your girls involved or volunteer. No doubt you're seeing how Girl Scouts is a part of every community's success. My name's Fern Murray and I'm a cadet, and this summer I went to Camp Linden. When I got there, I was excited to see my friends and we got in our cabin. Going to sleepaway camp is a little scary because you're not gonna see your parents for a whole week and you don't really know how it's gonna play out, but you're with your friends and you make new friends and it's just really fun and the week's over before you know it. My favorite things were going to the pool and swimming because it was really fun and you got to play with all your friends. I liked going down to the lake and boating and looking at the beautiful fairy garden. And there's a rock wall at Camp Linden and it was really fun and I just had to tell myself to be brave and I got to the top. On a typical day at Camp Linden, our counselors will wake us up if we want to do the polar bear plunge. And I did the polar bear plunge, and I thought it was really fun because even though it was really chilly, it was still fun to play with everyone. Then we go to breakfast, and my favorite thing to eat is the bacon, which comes in circles. Then we go to flag raising and sing the Girl Scout Pledge, and we either go back to our cabin and get ready for our next activities or we go straight to our next activity. My favorite thing to do was rock climbing because it was really fun to get to the top and you feel very accomplished and have to be really brave and you just have to do it. My counselors were really nice and when we went to the rock wall they told us to be brave and it was really nice and we got and it helped me get up the rock wall so on some days we had a cookout where we would make tacos in a bowl the lemonade was really nice and the food was good and you just got to spend quality time with your cabin and for the parents pickup performance we created a play to do and we did a play about animals and there were campers who thought it was too noisy outside so all the wise woman told them to get more animals so when they got rid of the animals they thought it was quiet and it was really fun the whole camp did it but only our cabin did our play 
but the other cam- uh, other cabins had other plays that they did, and it was really fun to watch because you didn't know what they were going to do. Girl Scouting gives girls opportunities to try new things and be a part of important traditions at the same time. Girl Scouting changes girls, but it also changes families. I'm Josh Gettig, and uh, we've been in the Girl Scout program for, wow, a number of years. My oldest daughter is 13, eighth grade, so I'm not really good with math, so I'd have to figure that out. But, uh, you know, the way, the way Girl Scouts has affected our family is I've watched, my wife and I got married. Uh, she was 18, I was uh, 19, and we've been married over 20 years now. And uh, I've watched her when she became a Girl Scout leader, when, when nobody else would step up and, and she decided to step up. I've watched her grow, not just the girls grow. Um, and, and watching her change from one person to another. And, and it's been awesome, uh, awesome, just watching her become becoming a leader, a leader with uh, you know, a role model for these girls. You know, and, the, and I always go to one of the coolest stories we ever had was when we were at Disney World. And uh, if anybody knows me or my family, um, my, myself and my youngest daughter, Lily, is a bit of an adrenaline junkie. So we ride a lot of roller coasters. And nobody else in the family wants to ride them. And uh, she calls it the Yeti ride at, um, I think it was Animal Kingdom. And she says, Mom, Mom, I... Uh, will you ride the ride with me? And mom says, no, 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 honey, no. And finally she says, but mom, you taught us to be courageous and strong. So why won't you ride it? And the next thing you know, I saw my wife get in line to get on the ride. So I just, I thought that was such a cool, cool thing. I mean, just the, the, the character, the, the things that Girl Scouts, um, just as being a leader has taught my wife. I just, I think it's awesome. In Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan, Girl Scouting is a -a one-of-a-kind leadership development program for girls with proven results. It's based on time-tested methods and research-backed programs that help girls take the lead. And for that, I am so proud to lead this organization towards that goal. Girls will take the lead in their own lives and in the world. Volunteers so often tell us that they got more out of their experience than the girls. They also tell us that they've met some of their closest friends, women and men who share similar values, those exhibited in the Girl Scout Promise and Law. In the promise, a Girl Scout says she's a sister to every Girl Scout, and that's a real benefit. Girls learn how to lift other girls up, how to advocate for themselves and others, and engage as a team member with their troop. As they grow up, this value-based peer group gives girls a place where they know they can talk frankly without judgment, and they can depend on their Girl Scout sisters for dialogue and support. These stories illustrate how powerful Girl Scouting supports our community. What happens next is we're looking for you to support the girls. If you're involved with Girl Scouting now, will you help give this important advantage to even more girls by helping us reach out? If you're inspired by the vision these girls and adults have shared, please share your leadership by reaching out to girls in your community who don't have the advantage and benefits of Girl Scouting yet. Thanks for joining us tonight at Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan. If you'd like to get involved and give more girls the Girl Scout advantage, please join us. Go to the Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan webpage at gshom.org or call us at 1-800-49-SCOUT. That's 1-800-49-72688. We look forward to hearing from you and getting even more girls into Girl Scouting today.
Change the world. In the Girl Scouts, together we change the 